Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to Wait Extended. So, let's see. Where the hell are we? It's that oil lamp again. Almost feels like an old friend. Well, uh... If that's what flows through boats, that's cool. The idols. Idol representing the five aspects. Restlessness, isolation, transience, creativity, and fear. But I only have four idols. I wonder which one is missing. And the numbers are completely screwed. Let's count it down to one. What's going to happen when it's over? I don't think anything good. So far, it's been pretty bad when they count down, so... Oh. And, like, now it's gonna be very bad. Come on. Phew. Yay. What was that? I get a strange feeling. Like a presence. Something knows I'm here. And I don't think that something wants to hug, kiss me, and tell me everything's gonna be alright, so we should be careful. There's no way through, it's all blocked. There's someone standing there. Don't wanna know. Don't wanna know. Let me see what's here. The store somehow looks like it doesn't belong here. It's locked. Huh. Can we find a key for it, perhaps? Anymore? Hey, what is this place? Looks like a child's room. It's a stereo. Should I switch it on? Yeah, why not? Ow. My ears. Go back to the snow sound. Uh, I, 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 I like the, I like that one better. Well, that's enough. Yeah, I agree. Uh, that's actually enough of that. It's a toy car. Were there children living here? Empty desk with obviously broken lamp. The mirror is not very clean. There's a photo stuck to the frame. It's a picture of my living room. What? Hmm. When or how was this photo taken? An empty shelf. It's quite dusty. Yeah, I'm checking everything twice because sometimes he actually finds something after he checks it twice. So yeah, this box is filled with food cans and bottles of some sort. I can't tell if this is trash or storage. What? Why? What? What? What happened? Why, why did you look over there, and why was there a sound coming out of there? Looks kind of like a hospital bed. Alright. That wouldn't do anything. Nope. <laughs> Some clothes from the size of it belonging to a child. Huh, that's interesting. So there was a kid living here, but what happened to the kid? And I didn't hear any of a mention, mention of a kid or anything like that from any of the tenants. Some bad smelling trash, why is it kept here? A broken fan. Of course, this could be somebody else's apartment. This, this is probably not our apartment. Or say, ow. What? Damn, I stepped on some plates. Bag of flour. Well, this is some weird kitchen. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. But wait. Eh, I mean, aside from the plates on the floor, it's not that bad. The fridge has a lock with a number pad. Oh. I don't know what the number is. Yeah. So, we're gonna have to find that. Hmm, small and quite advanced. Pretty big empty place. Alright, I get what you're saying. Let's move on. Hello, paintings. A weird painting. It shows some creature standing in front of- in a forest, looking at a kid in front of his house. It's all painted in black and kind of looks like a child's drawing. This painting shows a woman whose head is replaced with a drum. She's pointing at something. It's all drawn in a 50s art style. Huh. How Safe about here? Lose the tape shut, but I don't want to open it. There's a horrible stench coming from this box. Is it a head? It could be a head. Lots of handwritten notes were thrown in this box. Little P can't hurt. Hey, a note with four numbers written on it. This could be the code for the fridge. Or any other code, actually, but I can try. The number is 4923. 4923. Let's go open that fridge then. Before anything else, because I have a feeling that could be important. Alright, 4923, 4923. 4923! 4923. Three. That seems to be the correct code. Looks like a collection of blood samples. Each sample has a name tag on it. Let's see here. Politician, royal, homeless, soldier, student. Well, someone collecting blood samples of different social class. But what for? Library has changed. A feast for the prince. Oh. Interesting. And everything went quiet for a second. So, what the thing is, I can't go back to my library, can I? Not right now, at least. And I haven't been able to go back to my house. 
So, that's a weird thing. Um, and I still have no way to watch the um, floppy disk. At the same time, I can't go back to the library to check out that book. And I'm feeling that library is pretty important, but let's see. Computer installed. I doubt it's functional. Heh, <laughs> who would have thought? It has some kind of personal operating system. Hey, can I, I wonder, put the disk in here? Maybe not. Hmm, it only shows four black screens, and I don't see any options or settings. Audio logs sorted by date. Here's one from the 17th of March. That was just a few days ago. No, I'm sorry. I'm not him. You must have the wrong number. No, you listen. I'm not Richard. Are you listening? I am not him. That's me. It's when I got that ominous phone call. But how is this possible? Was I being watched the whole time? There are even older logs. Here's one from 1996. Whoever took these recordings or has already done it a long, long time. The last ritual was about, held about nine years ago. It's the voice from the tape recorder. I'm guessing it's from another previous tenant, as I recall there were three. I don't know who attended the ritual, but whoever it was, was not going to go through with it. He started a ritual and called the five beings to counsel, but then he killed himself during the process. I assume he thought he could free mankind from obtaining, from obtaining the aspects. Just imagine, a human race without fear, without solitude, without death. Just thinking about it makes me shiver. Whether this would be a good or a bad thing is for one to decide for himself, but that man... He obviously thought it would be a good thing. By killing himself in the middle of the ritual, the contract could not be signed anew. But the ritual wasn't cancelled. No, it was just... paused. The creatures didn't care for his decision. They probably never realized he was dead. They're just standing by until the ritual is fulfilled. Waiting to leave. And they will wait until another attendee arrives. Someone must finish the ritual and sign the contract. Release the beings from waiting as they did the last 90 years. I'm guessing that is the reason for the distortion in this place. Those beings are not meant to dwell here for long. So that's it. The ritual is still going on. But why did he do it himself? He knew so much about it. Picture I cried. Also pictures of apartments. There's a picture of me returning from work. This is really freaking me out. What's this? A photo showing an idol. It's not one of the idols I got, so it must be the fifth. There's an option below the picture which says unlock. I heard something at the far end of the room. There are no other significant pictures. Did he open one of the lockers? Oh, that's the idol, but do I really want to gather all five? I think we have to, buddy. And this one is not so creepy. That's good. It's a plus. It seems to be the only way to end this. So that's why the game is called Wait, huh? I I, I didn't know that, actually. Obviously. And what are those? Uh, hi. Oh! Damn it, the lamp ran out. They stopped moving. Is it because of the light? Oh, A to toggle lamp. Okay, so... Oh, alright. I assume I don't want to touch them. Hang on. They should... No, wait. Nah, that's not good. Okay, that's good. I think. Okay, okay. So... Ah! Don't do that! Uh, okay. Oh, that worked. Okay. We're out of there. I'm not gonna explore that place anymore. Yeah. Don't want to explore those that place with all the... I don't know what the hell they are. Can I go through the store yet? It's locked. And let me turn my lamp on. Strange. There's a scent in the air. It smells like a woman's perfume. Did someone come through here recently? Huh, I wonder if it was Emily. The other tenant that was here. Alright, time to go back. Everything went quiet. Can I go here? No. Hmm. Well, I guess we have to do the ritual. Oh no. That's not good. Okay. All five idols are gathered here. I guess I have to place them. Should I place an idol? Yeah, why not? I will put away the lantern. But it's our old friend! Aww. He should be here to watch this. Okay, I... And now we get to sit down. That's not good.
but my head hurts. Oh god, what is this feeling? What, what now? Are they waiting for me? What should I do? That one man, one man killed himself in the hopes of ridding humanity from those aspects, but it didn't change anything. He just left them waiting for 90 years. It's my only option to go through with this. I still have this gun. What should I do? <laughs> oh, wait! Ah, uh, that's good. Oh, man, yeah. Use the gun. <laughs> I... Well, I mean, I have a single bullet, so I don't think I can, you know, shoot the creatures. I mean, signing what does what does signing the contract entail? Anyways, it would it would just mean everything goes back to normal, right? And nothing would happen to me, right? I mean, because obviously they don't want me to die, do they? I mean, the last guy used the gun, and all this bad shit happened. And obviously this can't be good. This can't be good. Like, that's just asking for it to, for you to get killed. And, I mean, they're gods, apparently, so, you know. Okay, I'm gonna sign a contract. I will go through with the contract. I see no other way. I mean, to be honest, again, like, you shoot the creatures, they, they would be pissed, and you only have a single bullet. They want me to sign the contract. I think I understand. This is not a matter of choice. It's a do or die contract. They gave us the aspects to control us, to keep us in line. Those beings are much older than we are. Much wiser, I can feel it. Their presence is tearing my soul apart. I will sign this contract and end this. Yeah, so shooting them would probably not be good, a good idea. So, okay, I signed. Everything's back to normal. Cool. Right? I don't know what happened afterwards. The beings didn't show me any reaction. That's all I remember. That's also what I told the doctors when they found me in my new apartment. They didn't believe me. I didn't expect them to. Did I change anything? I don't know. The world didn't stop spinning, I guess. I think that's a good day's work, right? <laughs> I really kind of want to go back and shoot the creatures, <laughs> see what that does. My name is Benjamin Boss. Moss, thank you for listening. Why did I keep calling him David? <laughs> I swear I heard that somewhere. Like, somewhere... I don't know. I, I don't know where I heard it from, but like... Uh, I don't remember. Okay, so, solution, transience. Playtime is one hour... Okay, playthroughs, one out of five. General lore, nine out of nine. Solution lore. Huh, company token, side story. So, playthroughs, one out of five. I wonder if... I really wonder if, if you play it like... Five times, there are different things that will happen each playthrough. I'm gonna play through it again because I don't think this is it. I really don't think I refuse to believe this is it. First of all, because I mean, there are a lot of things that we seem to have missed, and I still have the disc, the floppy disk. I still have the story that I couldn't read. They have to carry over or something, right? I'm gonna play through it again. Well, not the whole thing, but like, um. Library has changed dogmatic. Huh. Second invocation. Oh, okay. So things will be different then. I see. Oh, that is interesting. That is very cool. That is a very, very cool uh, concept. I love it. I don't know if it's like a time loop. Like, you finish the game, you go back in time. According to the story, you go back in time and do it again. Or, I don't know, like, but that's... Yeah, okay, so this is different. Remember, he said, he said Roberts was a dick, and I'm phrasing that in a bit of a jerk way, but like, that's Roberts, he said Roberts was an idiot, 
At first, now he says Roberts was a good help. Without him, it would have taken a lot longer. Yeah. Okay, so this is gonna be different then. Oh, that is so cool. I love that concept. I love it. The numbers are still there. Then again, why wouldn't they be? One day they just appeared. I woke up and they were there. Five, six, seven, six. I read them so many times. Five, six, seven, six, five, six, seven. That's ever since they appeared, I see them everywhere. It's like they've been returned. I tried to wash them off, but nothing would help. Yet yeah, we've gone through all this before. Whatever, time to get something new. There should be leftovers in the fridge. Let's read the um Let's read the bookcase. Dogmatic. She realized there was nothing she could do. Jonathan would not go through with it and repeat the mistakes of countless others before him. The, the thing's belief drives you to do, she thought. And uh, which one was the, the feast for the prince? Renard stared at the beautiful neck. Surely his servants could provide him with just the feast he needs, but Renard prefers hunting for himself. It gave him a certain reassurance of who he is, besides being intensely satisfying, of course. But when you're of royal blood, your choices of prey are limited. So, okay. Now I read that. Interesting. So, I'm kind of assuming, though, uh, the thing is, like, this, until we unlock this book, we're not going to get the full ending, or the full story of what the hell is happening. We got who is Riley, we don't have who is Emily yet. And a lot of other things that we don't have. Wait, do I still have the disc? It's my laptop, I bought it last April. You're not gonna check it? Okay. I really, I really am curious if I still have the disc that I found on the, um... What was, what was it called? The bathroom wall. Alright, so... Let's get something to eat. And... Play through the whole thing. Well, I don't think we're gonna have... Too many of the same scenes. We're probably gonna have some different stuff going on. But, uh... I'll try to skip over a bit to this familiar stuff and just show the different stuff. And yeah, the, um, let's check the computer. Let, let's clean up. I mean, again, this might be the second playthrough, but come on. We should not mess up our apartment. Yay. Okay, so, time to check the board, see if there's anything new now. Yeah. So, nothing different on the first day, so might as well go to bed. Almost forgot to change. So yeah, nothing different happened so far. I mean, checked the computer, checked everything pretty much in the apartment, there, and there was nothing that uh, that was different. The lamp appeared again. But now, what's gonna happen? The night has come, and it might be different this time. Or maybe not. Was that my front door? Ouch! What was that? An oil lamp? Where did this come from? What's wrong with the lights? What's going on here? Might as well use this then. Huh? here. It sounds similar. Is the box there? The box is not there yet. The front door is open. Oh! That wasn't open before! I'm pretty sure I locked it. What? The keys are gone. Did someone steal my keys? Maybe I should call the police. I wonder if whoever took them is still here. Should I go check the hallway? Yeah! Fuck yeah, dude, let's do this shit. Go and check. Let's see if I can find something. Oh. Oh no. Oh, maybe that wasn't a good idea. This can't be happening. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. This leads to a stairway. The emergency exit sign emits and its usual green light. What's wrong with the store? It's jammed somehow. Yeah, what a nice emergency exit that is. This is the apartment of Haru Kazumi. I met him on the hallway a few times. He's a student from Japan. I don't know for what subject, though. Okay. Oh, man, this is not good. Oh, man, I, I can I, I can definitely, definitely feel like something bad will, is going to happen in this one. The man here, lives here who lives here is called Fonder. I've only seen him once. At least, I think it was him. What a weird- oh, no, 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 don't pick it up yet. Oh, shit, this is bad. I don't know why, but it's somehow urging me to take it with me. Don't take it. Maybe it's better that I do. No, it's not. What was that? I don't know. I don't know what that was, but it was- it's not good. I honestly don't know who lives here. The sign on the door says McKellum. 
Why am I walking slowly? Slow is not a good thing, Benjamin. Oh. What the fuck? Oh! Oh, that's not good at all. Hey, so you're back. Good to meet you, buddy. Uh, wow, you can, uh, definitely... <laughs> what was that? Oh, I don't think he's giving up yet. What should I, what do I do? Uh, I don't know. Not that, whoa. Definitely not look at the door. Okay, maybe he gave up. Is it gone? Uh, I think it is. What, where am I anyway? This room must be some kind of lobby or something. What to do? I don't know, but definitely not going back out there again. Uh, wow, man. Okay, so definitely, definitely some cool stuff on this playthrough now. I love that concept. A huge props to the devs for making a cool concept like this. And I'm thinking of one game that did something similar to this, but I can't remember the name. Like, you go back in time and you have, you have to do different things. I can't remember the name of the game. But there was one game that did that. So what the hell do I do in this place? There's a hole. There's a crack. It's boarded up. Shit. What the hell? Small table. Do I go back out? I, I, yeah, I wouldn't want to either. <laughs> Maybe I should have a look through the hole see if it's still there. Oh, that's... Not a good idea. Um, looks, looks like it's gone. When I ran down the hallway, I thought I saw something lying on the ground. Maybe it, it, it was my keys. Well, I don't have anything else to do here anyway, so... Might as well. I mean... Yeah. Should I do Yeah, go. I mean... I don't think... When I ran here, that hallway seemed endless, but everything was normal. Was I just imagining things out of panic? Here are my keys. They're lying on a book. Could be some kind of diary. Oh, is it the professor's? Alright, what's more important is that I got my keys. I should head back to my apartment first. Although, I'm not sure I'll be safe there. Well, we won't be safe anywhere, Benji, so maybe we should keep going. I wonder if I can open any of the apartments. Do I really want to, though? I mean, why would I want to? What is all this? Can I open this? Alright, well, maybe not. I don't think there's anything else I can explore in this place, but uh, it's kind of important that I still check. There's a huge scratch on the wall. I can imagine what made it. Yeah, and I wouldn't want to meet it again. So, wow. Looks like it went this way. The door has been almost cut in half. I assume you don't want to go in there. I wouldn't want to go in there either, buddy. So, finally back. Oh, no. What? Open up, come on! <laughs> What's wrong? What? I don't know. I got it. Go in. <laughs> I keep bashing the space. <laughs> so that's usually what happens in RPG Maker games. Like you just have to keep trying, trying, trying until you get in there. And uh, what happens? Am I in my bed? What a strange night. There are also two pictures on the. Okay, yeah, the countdown changed again, obviously. Okay, you, you don't want to... I see. Why would you want to explore your apartment after you had the strangest nightmare of all? Back home. Or at least back in this place. What happened last night? Was I just dreaming? It was quite the nightmare. What was that thing that haunted me? Would you like to say okay? Yes! And I'm gonna cut it here, guys. I know, sorry, because there's a lot of things that we should read and look up on, but we will. Don't worry, in the next part. Um, wow. I just have to say what a cool concept that is. Like, I knew that couldn't be it. Like, that ending could not be it. Because this game took, like, two, three years to develop. Like, the extended version of it. Took years. I've been following it since, like, 2013, I think. And... I refuse to believe that a game that took that long to develop would have like an hour and a half of a playtime. So yeah, there's obviously a lot more to go and I think we just scratched the surface. 
there's obviously a lot more to do, a lot more to go. So, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I am loving it so far because of that concept. Um, I hope you guys are too. Definitely gonna be an interesting playthrough. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.